Welcome to Watercolor by Scarlet Demon. Today we're going to take a look at the Schmincke uh, Granulating Spray. This is a 15 milliliter container and it is flammable so it is flammable so you want to be careful about that too. Now in this case the, the English information is on the inside um, and most of it is written in German of course because it's a German company. So this is um, a new brush I just picked up at our local art store. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is do a few swatches and then we'll put some spray on and then when we're all done, we'll come to this one um, and I use this for the tutorial about putting a glaze onto a piece. You can see here how it looks when it dries. And I want to come back with a smaller brush and add some water down here and a few shadows. And I think it would be fun if I put some granulating spray into those shadows to give them more of texture. So we'll do that after we've played around with some of this. Okay, so I've got some water down. I'm doing that because I just want this to flow a little better. It also means I can lose, use less paint. And there's this one. So this is a very soft brush. I'm surprised at how, how soft it is here, which is not a bad thing. Um, that is something you would see in a natural hairbrush, which is kind of cool. Okay, so before this completely dries, let's pop off the top. And give it a little pump here. There we go. You guys see what that looks like? So let's pick a color that's a little brighter. Next, we have, ooh, and it smells. It smells like alcohol. Interesting. I do have a spray, I believe it's called Spray Effect or Spray Watercolor, watercolor Effect. Um, and I'll be trying that out in another tutorial too because I think that's also useful for you guys to see. So we won't look at that now, but it has the same smell. It's like an alcohol base. This one is the Neutral Gray. Down some water. Um, these are schminky colors. And if you want to know more about the colors and the palettes and why I have these colors in this palette, um, do check out my the tutorial on how I filled this little palette, which just came out, should have just come out a few days ago. At the time of actually filming this, it's not due to come out for a few weeks. <laughs> but that could always change. But by the time you see this one, um, it should already be out. So the brush definitely likes to drop the color. Um, it's not very consistent in how it's laying the color down, which is why I have to keep going over it. So I'm just going to spray the bottom half from about six inches or so up. Ooh, now that really does look like alcohol. And now let's do the top half. Very nice. So that was from a little further and you can see that the dots are little tiny and that's very pretty. This is where it got too much. There's definitely alcohol in here. Definitely. I can smell it and I can see the results. Okay, rinsing the brush again. This is alizarin and crimson down here, which is a beautiful red. So these colors are not granulating on their own. They do have a little texture going on, but that mostly is coming from the paper. Um, if they are granulating, if the schminky colors are granulating, they'll have a G on the back side of the tube, the tube of paint. Now I don't have any tubes of paint on me at the moment. That would have been um, that would have been very helpful. But I can tell you that very few of the schminka or schminky paints actually are granulating, which is one of the reasons why this is kind of neat, because it will take a non-granulating color and make it more granulating. Actually, I can see it here a little better than here. This was nice, 
but it has like a texture, whereas that actually looks like true granulation. So, oh, we want to spray. I'm gonna spray from up, up high. Also very cool. Although too many dots are definitely dropping. You see here in the center, there's a few big drop dots, which I'm not happy with. So this one is golden brown. One of the fun things about using a flat brush is you can make really good corners once you flatten the brush out on all edges so it's straight on the side. You come across the top and straight down, which is good if you're trying to do a swatch like this. Um, it's a little easier than using a round brush. And let's try that again. And here I'm just kind of pushing halfway getting some good spots and then a full push so we have to straighten those bristles out first and once they're a little straight then we come straight down the key here is to move your arm backwards as one complete unit now I'm not paying too much attention while I do this because I'm talking and not super important but if I want to make perfect squares you want to pull your whole body back not just or your whole arm back um, not just your hand like you're going up and actually changing the direction you want to pull straight back in order to get that nice straight line and again ooh, that's nice that is what granulation should look like and again I want to wiggle this straight And you know what? There is some granulation spray from this that's already there. So I don't actually have to spray it on there. You can see that it's already in place. But I wonder if we go over it a few times, will it fill in? Yes. Kind of mixed it right up. So these pools that I'm pushing around, this is the brush. That's what the brush is doing. The brush, because it's not natural hair, it's synthetic, it's dropping the color. Um, every time I touch the page, I have a pile of color, uh, which I need to kind of move around, which is difficult because it's going to create a bloom. So the way to get rid of that is to get some of the water off of here and then go over it and kind of lift out that color. The only problem of course is that I'm lifting out the water, I'm also lifting out the color. So let's do one last spray on here. That was a full spray and that is really textured. Wow. So now we give it a chance to dry. I kind of want to do this one over again. That's a really light color and it's hard to see. Yeah, and that's what neon red looks like. Okay, so this is good to know too. Once you have put it down, once you've painted a layer and you've added the granulation, if you wanna go back and paint another layer, the granulating or the alcohol, the granulation spray is not coming through. So that is really helpful to know. Um, and I'm gonna spray this one last time. I'm making a mess over there. Yeah, so the different colors have definitely reacted differently, um, but also depends on how much, if I'm giving it a full push or just half a push. Um, I do like the way it looks, definitely. I don't think it looks granulating. Here it does. This color is definitely, uh, has, a, has a definite granulation look to it. You can see that. Whereas the pink um, looks like a texture or an effect. The gray, there's a little granulation going in there, but that again is more of the paper. And these bigger spots is because of the alcohol. So it's like big drops have just dropped on. This one looks very granulating. That has a definite granulation effect to it. This one, I would say not so much. Whereas some of the blue 
the Phaleo turquoise blues, some places have those little tiny dots because this is really what granulation looks like, this tiny, tiny itty bitty little dots way down in that bottom corner, not these big splotches. That would be more of an effect. I'm gonna add some alizarin crimson in order to, to that blue to make more of a purple tone. And then we're going to add a little more purple down here. And before it dries too much, um, I also want to give a shadow here. Okay, and then it's not totally dry. Give it a little shake to see if that makes a difference. And also, um, let's do this. You guys see the bottom here? It's all nice and bumpy. It works really well, and I think part of why it works so well is because there are multiple colors on there, so it has that that true granulating look to it. I also want to put a little bit on the neck, although I don't think that worked. All right, now we're going to have to come back to this little bird uh, because right now we're just we're doing some things that are cool, but also things that aren't so cool. So I want to definitely add some more of this in here. This is. Um, some transparent brown. Just as a glaze. Voila. Um, and then the face needs a lot more. There's all these uh, fine details in here and in here. And of course, there's darker eyes. And a darker beak. Anyway, and lots of other things. But we are not working on the face. We are really just working on that granulating effect here. And I want to put a little bit of shadow and detail on the rest of it. So I will come back to that later and in another tutorial, or maybe not, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but I hope you found this interesting. The granulation spray, um, I really like it. I really like it here. I, I wasn't sure, I didn't think that it would be something I would use, but because it's in a small bottle, so it's easy to handle. And if I have multiple colors that are all wet at the same time, it's it pulls them apart in what looks really nifty. It's a really beautiful um, result. I hope you found this useful. If you did and you want to let me know, please give me a thumbs up because it helps. I do pay attention to that. 
Um, also, if you guys are interested in the templates for this or any other of the tutorials that I have done in the past and a whole bunch that are coming in the future, please check out my Etsy shop where you can download or purchase, um, download and purchase different templates and other things. And that is work watercolor by scarlet.etsy.com. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Toodaloo!